You know, I've always had s such an affinity for, for um, Williams, always, and have been fortunate enough to play it, three of his women. And just, um, it, there's so, something that he fills uh, that very few playwrights can. You know, he really transports you to a, to a world that's full of conflict and joy and grief and sort of all the colors. And uh, it's just a joy to, just to embrace him. And play him. How well would you know this play? Because I think this is one of his finest plays. Yes. It may not be one of his most well-known plays, no. but I think the writing in this yes. and the character development is so wonderful. Yeah. Did you know it well before you got involved? No, I didn't actually. And I, we did. A, Carla and I did a reading at the roundabout several months ago, and it just resonated so strongly in each of us. Um, I think that he <clears throat> he loved this play. I think more than any other, or at least he said he was really loved it because. I don't know if Carlo or whether you'd read it, but he wasn't allowed to have, he was in analysis and he wasn't allowed to have sex and he wasn't allowed to write. So all of this poured out of him because, uh, you know, he'd been prohibited from sort of following his, what instinctively he did uh, so often. So I think it's just, it's so intense because of that too.